short video, I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary WordPress blog into a membership site. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is log into your back end of the WordPress blog. Once you've done that, you want to go to plugins and uh, you want to go to add new. Once you've gone here in the search category, make sure you're on the search tab, you want to search for this exact term, members only menu plugin. Click on search plugins and you'll see it's the very first plugin at the top here. It's got a five star rating. It's a very good plugin. So uh, mine's already installed, um, but you can click on install now that you'll see on these other plugins. Just click on install now and then uh, it will install it and then you're going to click on um, an activate button. And once that's activated, uh, what you will see is on your pages, whenever you create a new page or, or you have existing pages, you can now edit those pages to be uh, general view or uh, members only. So uh, let's just click on a page that's already created here. Just click on contact me. Obviously I want this to be available for everybody. This is uh, on a client site. Um, so I haven't got it restricted to members, but any page you want to make, you just click on this and restrict to members. Now what that will do, also on the navigation menu, if, if you're adding these pages to your custom navigation menu at the top of your site when you're logged out, uh, for instance, we will go to this site. And you'll see here um, on my members tab, I've got a register tab, a login page, and a member uh, login tab, and a members page. Now this members page does not show up for logged out viewers. So you can have complete menus that, that uh, appear after a member is logged in. So this is really cool. Uh, so you know, in this case here, I've uh, created a page that we can add links to. And each one of these links can be self-restricted to members only as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So we're going to go back to pages here and I'm going to open up all pages and that page that I created here was the members page I'm just going to show you that first off and you can see here it's restrict to members now this link here basically every time you create a page let's make a new page you can just put uh, members content whatever it is just title your page as you would a normal WordPress um, page put your content here restrict it to members and then take this link and you can put that on any of your other pages that are member content so that people can navigate within their members pages so that's how you make member protected content and you can control it on your menu navigation as well now there's one other step that will make your membership uh, experience for your user a seamless program a seamless action sorry so we want to go back to um, plugins because what by default what WordPress does is when people log into the members area or they register on your page and they log into your members area they'll get redirected to the WordPress back end this is not what you want that will just confuse the heck out of your visitors so what you want to do is look for Peter's login redirect. Now you uh, again, you just go to plugins, you click on add new, you repeat the same step as we did before, and you're going to search for Peter's login direct. So search that plugin. Again, it'll come up first and you'll see mine is already installed. It's got five star rating. So just click on the install now and again, activate. Now, once you've activated this plugin, what you want to do is go to, uh, it'll show up in here under your settings tab. It will show up a new, new tab will arrive and it will be login redirects. I want you to click on that. And then here you have different, different functions. Um, but in most cases, uh, whatever, you set as the default user when people use uh, our, our user, which actually would be, I think in general, we'll, we'll go and do this step first, just so I don't miss anything for you. Um, you can see here on general settings, 
you want to make sure anyone can register is checked off and the new user default role. Generally, if you pick subscriber, it is the lowest and they, they won't be able to add posts or anything like that to your site. So this is a good default unless you want them and you understand the implications of these other memberships. But if you select subscriber, um, save changes. Now, let's go back to Peter's plugin. Which is down here. And you want to go to the second role here, specific roles. You want to choose uh, a drop down menu here. I chose subscriber, so it's not in here anymore. I chose subscriber, and then I selected the, the URL I want people to go to. So basically, what will happen is you create a page, you, you member protect it, like I showed you in the previous step. Now, when somebody logs in, direct them to the page that you would like them. If you have multiple pages, make a welcome page that explains welcome to the members area. And then uh, you can, can create as much content as you want for your members, but have it land on a welcome page. And on that welcome page, have the links to all the other areas of the members area that you can create at will. So you click on, uh, you make that subscriber, you make it direct to the members area, click on update. And you are done. You have a membership site inside of five minutes. So I hope that explained anything. If you like this video and found it informative, please uh, put a comment below. Uh, we love to hear from our subscribers. Thanks.